Okay, uh, the next uh, item on our agenda is the monthly budget report. Tim? Yeah, the, the report that you received highlighted the fact that our, our total revenue for the month uh, of July was $6.1 million. Um, that's 24% of the entire budgeted revenue that we have for the year. And the reason for that is that we received about a little over 50% of the, the, the property taxes um, that we have budgeted to receive in, in the first part of this year. Uh, property taxes were due uh, August 1st. We received over $5.7 million in property taxes. Uh, August will also be a very big month. I know in the first week of August, we received another $1.8 million in uh, property tax revenue. So uh, our, our fund balance at the end of uh, at the end of July was $9.6 million. That's going to go up, obviously, over $10 million uh, at the end of August. Then we're not going to see a really significant bump in revenue until we get out to March. Uh, we start receiving the second payment. But certainly... Um, at this point in the year, we, we have a very healthy fund balance. Um, a couple other items that I, that I highlighted for you, we did receive the entire school maintenance grant of $50,000 that we're using to pay for part of the lighting uh, project that we're doing in, in the gymnasiums, as well as we're also using part of that money for the sign that will be out on First Avenue in Ridgewood. Um, there were some special ed reimbursements and some other uh, items, but, but those were the two significant things. Um, on the expenditure side, expenditures were, were $1.1 million. It's fairly low for the month of July because we don't make any certified payroll in the month of July. That doesn't start until August, uh, which is another reason that our fund balance jumped up as significantly as it did. Um, you could see that our <coughs> expenditures for the month we're only at 4% of budget, so obviously you'll, we'll see that jump in August. Um, the, the report that was sent out to you, uh, now that we're doing this on board book, uh, we have to take the report out of a, of a different program um, in, in the DCR system and, and put it into uh, board book. And when we did that <clears throat> on August 9th, unfortunately it picked up all of the revenue and expenditures through August 9th. So if, if you notice that the report that you received, um, the numbers didn't exactly agree with the, the summary reports that were in your packet. For example, the revenue was about one and a half to two million dollars higher than what was shown on these summary sheets. But we'll get that corrected at the end of uh, um, at the end of August for the September report. And make sure that we run it before any of those items for the next month are added into it. Um, one of the things that the self-insurance fund we paid out um, some of the, the the claims for the month of june there's also some some revenue that shows up in the, in the self-insurance fund that, that is rebates uh, that we get from blue cross uh, through the self-insurance fund for the month of june <clears throat> what i want to do before we put together this final budget is take all of the medical um, expenditure accounts and combine them into one account uh, the same thing with the dental, the same thing with the lawyer. <coughs> you know, unless there's an objection, I really don't know if we really need to be looking at what the medical costs are for the English department or for the world language department, those types of things. I think it's a number, you know, it's based obviously on the individuals that are in there. It, it's based on the plans that they choose, whether they choose single family. So it really is a number that, that I don't think is, is really uh, representative, certainly, of the departmental costs. Um, and, and then at that point, we can eliminate the self-insurance fund, which we talked about before, move that money into the education fund. Um, so that was one of the things I wanted to do for the budget, that we'll pre the final budget that we'll present in September, um, as well as for the, the financial reports for the month of August. Is there any objection to that from the board? Okay. Seeing none. Any questions for Tim on the budget? Um, there, there were some items I think it was noted that, that we went we went over budget um, during the first month I did with the new budget that I sent you that was uh, a, a dated August 1st I also sent out a, 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 a listing of some changes um, that were made to the budget um, it, it the the surplus went from 200 or the deficit went from 204,000 to 187,000 so the changes weren't real significant, but what they represent are some of the salary information that, that we've put in based on 
Um, some of the changes that you approved in August are, are possibly some people who left. Um, it's adjustments to some information that, that we, where we've gotten new information. Um, and it's some of it is reallocations within departments. You'll notice that a number of those items were reallocations within the tech department. Overall, the tech department budget went down, but the money was reallocated in different accounts. Um, one of those more significant items there was that we, we took money um, that was originally budgeted <coughs> um, in capital, and because we're purchasing computers and the computers are less than $1,000, they're actually non-capitalized items. So that was a switch in the, in, the, uh, in the vocational grants where we switched $17,500 from, from capital to non-capital. So, so those were the, ma those, the majority of these changes. They really weren't significant changes. They were really just reallocations and corrections and things of that nature. Um, we'll still have some additional information that we'll get. Uh, I've gotten the numbers for general state aid. General state aid is actually going up some. So those numbers will be reflected in the um, you know, in, in the final budget that we give you in September for approval. I believe there were a few questions on the budget, or uh, was that bills yeah. that you sent in? I thought I sent them. Any questions for have to address until next time, but the age group swimming, you yeah, need to I, look I at that. Yeah, I wasn't quite, could you, could you Yeah, the, I had asked on the draft, we budget for in, in revenues and expansion age group swimming, and then the line right below it is for, uh, Swim, swim lessons. lessons? Yeah. And when we talked about it, you thought the age group swimming was for swim lessons. I don't think it is. I think we're budgeting for an item that we shouldn't budget for anymore. Because they're not going to run their revenues through the school anymore, their expenses, right? Right. We eliminated that. But I think 60000 on each. Let's I mean, check with uh, Art and Todd. Okay. Because the only swimming that is the school account is his age group swim lessons. So we right. want to make sure it's just strictly the swim lessons. We no longer do any payroll or anything like that with any kind of swim programs. And and you did address a couple of items in the revised budget. You uh, but there's several items that were either already over budget because there was no budget or because we're just over budget or we're right there. Are you going to have a chance to look at those? I mean, it's the first month of the year. Maybe there's a reason that we're close to budget and we're not going to spend more. But uh, in some cases, uh, it seems like we, it's all the expenditures want to come in in the first month. Yeah, as I said, there are there were some changes that, that we made here right, I'd in found. terms of the budget accounts. The, the big one that you noted was was the one in the, um, in the vocational where we spent money in a non-capitalized account. There was no budget. Right. The money was budgeted in capital that will be switched. Well, I just um, I put pages and so you can just take a look on those. Okay. And then the the last thing is the on the self-insurance fund, you mentioned the revenues, effect on the revenues, but there is $243,000 in expenses and there's zero budget on that line item. Yeah, that on was... Fund 12. <clears throat> that, that's going to all have to be readjusted, as I said, when, when I combine all of the, the medical and dental budget numbers okay. into one. That'll, so that'll we're not 243,000 over our proposed budget. It's just that no. we showed up on that report. Right. Okay. Right. I thought we I thought we did budget. A, a, we did a roll budget in, in the education fund. For right. The the, right. Paid out of the the, the self insurance self -insurance. fund. So right. That, it's just a matter of you, when you changed. close out self insurance fund, it's going to be you're moving all that over to the education fund. Correct. Yeah. Any other questions for Tim on the budget? 